How you doing? Where to begin? Today has been an interesting morning. Um, how do I put this? I, I rolled into Brookings, Oregon this morning. And I went to the docks, to the beach, wherever. And I met up with some people who were homeless or homeless and working. One guy was working at a, a cannabis dispensary. So he's working, but he's still living out of his vehicle. So other people, a lot of people are still working, but they're homeless. So I found out that last night, this old guy, he's a veteran. He looks, I mean, we're talking old, weathered old guy, right? And I guess at 11 o'clock at night, one of the security guards that guards the, the mobile home park decided to go over there and roust him and get him out of there. Told him, you need to go now. So apparently this old guy punched him. Next thing you know, cops show up. And he got a, he didn't, they didn't arrest him. They just gave him a ticket. You can knock out security guards because it wasn't a real cop. But it sounds like the guy was a real asshole, too. The guy was a veteran. The old guy that not, it hit the, the security guard, he's a veteran. So that's not good. And I've been getting, and there's another, the young kid that was a bud tender, um, he was talking to me and telling me about how he was getting roused out of shopping centers. And, you know, cops were, you know, openly harassing the homeless in their vehicles so I'm homeless in my vehicle and I will not be harassed I will not be belittled by some fucking cop or any city council member or any mayor or anybody sheriff I don't give a fuck or just a vigilantes there's apparently there's people in the community of Brookings that live in Brookings that are going around at four o'clock in the morning, honking their horns up and down the highway and just literally going next to the people sleeping in their vehicles, honking their horns in the middle of the night to terrorize them. This person didn't get enough titty as a kid. There's not enough love in that heart. A lot of homeless are single mothers. There's single women living in these mobile homes with children. They're not being fed well. They're not getting educated. They're not... I mean, but we're dealing with all the crazy shit, right? People are not thinking. People are not being compassionate. I'm getting, I'm gonna have to kick some ass spiritually. There's a meeting Monday night in the town of Brookings and I'm going. I'm the emperor of the fucking universe. I'm gonna have my say. I got some ideas. There actually, there's a young couple that are that's here right now at Pistol River. That's where I'm at currently. And I'm boondocking and I'm going to be boondocking. Monday I'm going to go into Brookings and I'm going to, I'm actually going to go into Brookings tomorrow and talk to a lady. Um, there's a, is she, Diane, Diana Co Cooper. She works at, at Brookings Core Response. And basically they help the homeless. And the city's trying to shut down that church, the Episcopal Church, whatever. Because they're helping the homeless. That's how bad it is in Brookings. That the actual town council are trying to close down a church. They're helping the poor. People, there's more poor coming. It ain't going to get better. And if the town council of Brookings thinks that helping the poor is just going to attract more poor to their city, then guess what? More, more poor is coming. God will make sure of it. The thing that you reject the most is the thing that you're going to get. I tell people, you are horrible in this life to human beings. You can be rich your whole life, but when you die, you're going to come back that homeless poor person and you're going to be treated like crap. And God's not going to let somebody help you because God's going to say, stay away from that person. They have a lesson to learn. They did not learn it in this life. It's called compassion. You can tell I'm fired up with love and light. I would really love to talk to that person going around terrorizing the homeless, honking their horns and shit. They need a hug. They need to be tied. I'll change their hearts. I ain't going to fight them. I'm going to understand them and I'm going to tell them certain things because I don't think they're seeing the big picture. A lot of people aren't, they're not, they're not, they're not putting themselves in other shoes. These people are scared. 
They're hot. There's single girls, young women, huddled in their vehicles crying because they're homeless and they're scared and COVID and, you know, the apocalypse. And then these assholes that have money and haven't been affected are going around snubbing everybody that's poor now. Oh, that's just not going to work. I am the emperor of the universe, but I like to put on a Robin Hood out every once in a while and shoot some arrows into somebody's ass. Robin Hood steals from the rich and gives to the poor. I'm not going to steal from the rich. I'm above that. But they'll pay one way or another, karmically. Like I said, if they think that they can get rid of the homeless by harassing them and treating them like shit, God will send 10,000 homeless here. That's how God works. So they might want to get their act together. And I'm going to, I'm going to remind them on Monday night who they are. Human beings who should have compassion for their fellow man. With love and light, people. It's going to be a fight, but I like it. I'm up for it. I'm ready. Hmm. There are people in need, suffering. A lot of more women and children, and I'm not going to have that. So, Brookings, prepare yourselves.